Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today we are going to talk about this geometric series. We want to check whether it's convergent or divergent, and if it's convergent, then we are going to find the sum. Then if it's divergent, then of course we cannot find sum, right? So let's look at this series here. So if you just look at the series, we have, if you plug in a one in there, then if you write all the first few terms, even though this step is optional, but sometimes it will help to tell what's going on with the series. And so if you plug in the one in there, then we are going to get four times three over five, right? And then we plug in the one in there, right? So we get one and then minus one. And so that's our first turn. And then now if you want to write down the second turn, then you are going to just plug in the two. Then so we have the two minus one in here, right? And as the exponent. And then if you want the third turn, then it's going to be what? Three over five raised to the three minus one power. And so on, right? Because this is an infinite series. so. We, there is no end on the sum. And so now if you simplify each term, then you can see that that's going to be the exponent of zero. So you're just going to be getting a four here, right? And then plus, if you look at this one, this is two minus one. So you're actually doing four times three over five, which is actually just three, uh, four times three over five. As you can see here, and then the next one is going to be four times three over five to the second power. And then if you want to just simplify each turn, then you are going to be getting 12 over five, but it's actually, we don't really need to do this, but I'm just doing it. Okay, so uh, if we square the three over five, then that's nine, right? Nine times four, that's nine in the numerator. And then times four, we are going to be getting 36 over the 25, okay, and so on. So now this geometric series, as you can see from this form right here, that the common ratio is going to be three over five. Because if we go from the first turn to the second turn, how do we get the second turn? We multiply the first turn by three fifths so that we can get the second turn. And we multiply the second turn by three fifths to get the third turn, as you can see here. So the common ratio, so let's write this down. Common ratio. Oh, I put the R N in there. So the R is actually equal to what? It's three fifths right here. Okay, now what else do we need to know here? Um, we also want to know the first term. Okay, so for the first term of the series, it's going to be, uh, we call this A1, right? So we can call this A1, which is actually the four, as you can see here. So now we have the common ratio with the first turn. We can actually just use the common ratio to determine whether the geometric series is convergent or divergent. How do we tell? Um, so because, right, so, so because when you look at this r equals three fifths, the absolute value r, which is actually the absolute value of three fifths, and that's equal to just three fifths, it's because it's less than one. So we can now say that the series, the geometric series, is convergent. Okay, so when you take the absolute value of the common ratio, and if that is less than one, then we know that the geometric series is convergent. Now, if it's convergent, that means we can find its sum. So how do we find sum? There is a formula that will allow us to find the sum of the geometric series. So the sum is actually what? So we have the geometric series, right? Is actually given by this formula. It's the first turn, okay, the first turn, and then divided by one minus r, okay, one minus r. Now, what is this r? r is three over five, right? r is three over five. And then what about the first turn? The first turn is the four. So now if we substitute the first turn and then also the common ratio in there, then we can find the sum. 
So we have in the denominator one minus the, uh, the common ratio, which is three fifths. So if we do that calculation, then we can actually figure out the answer. So we have four divided by, what is that four divided by? Actually, it's um, one minus three fifths, which is two fifths, right? So two over five. And then if you change it into a reciprocal, that's five over two. And then we, we get the answer to be what, just 10. So the sum is 10 and the series is conversion, right? And so usually, as you can see here, we only need the common ratio and then also the first turn to figure out the sum for the series. And if we see that the common ratio, it's greater than one or it's less than negative one, that means when you take the absolute value, then it's um, greater than one. What happened is that the series will diverge, then we don't need to worry about finding the sum. But on the other hand, if you have a, um, if you have the absolute value, the R is less than one, then the geometric series converges, then we can actually find some by using this formula here, which is the first term divided by one minus the common ratio R. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel, leave me a comment, give me a like, and then also please share my video to other people. And then also please check out my other videos. If you have a topic that you want me to do, please leave me a comment and then tell me which topic that you want to see. Then I will start doing those topics. Thank you for watching.